Hello, Montmartre Joe here. Thanks for tuning in. This week's episode was inspired by an email we got at Montmartre asking us to please give some artistic guidance regarding drawing pastel portraits from a photo. I'm trying to draw my grandson from a photo and I can't get the outline the same as in the photo. And how do I get realistic skin tones from pastels? Now I painted this painting from this photo and it wasn't as hard as you might think. And I'll show you how I did it. So first things first, we must prepare our support. Now I'm using the Montmartre 300 GSM watercolour pad for this. Now I know it's watercolour pad, but I want to tint my background and I think the watercolour paper will handle the wet paint better than pastel paper would. So cut out a sheet of watercolour paper and tape it to a work surface. For the tint, I use ochre and burnt umber in equal proportions and lay a wash horizontally across the page. Drag your brush vertically to add a little more texture. Okay, while that's drying, let's talk about how we're going to transfer the photo to the paper. <coughs> At this point, I have to get all lawyerish and let you know that this project is intended for personal photos only, as it can be seen as a copyright infringement for copying another person's photo without appropriate consent were you to sell it. For this project, I have supplied you this photo, and that is quite okay for you to use, and you can download it with the lesson plan from montmart.net. Just follow the links. Okay, moving on. Now, take your photo and tape it to a sheet of Montmart tracing paper. Now measure out the points and rule it into equal proportions, then number and letter each one. At this point, I have to get all mathematicianish, and I have to apply a formula to work out the enlarged grid size. So I measure my original photo, which is 150 millimetres, and divide it by the proposed artwork size, which is 415 millimetres, which equals 2.76. I now measure the individual size of each square on the original, which is 10 millimetres, and then multiply it by 2.76, which equals 27.6 millimetres. That is how big each individual square will have to be on my proposed artwork. Easy, hey? We have supplied this formula on the PDF. <laughs> so once they're numbered and lettered, we need to grid up the proposed artwork and do this with a 4B pencil very softly. This is quite an important part. You'll notice I am just using the pencil's weight to make a mark. Now it is just a simple case of matching up the corresponding lines. For example, I can see that the I lies at E6. So I match these lines up and we can draw our I end. I am using a soft charcoal pencil for this and taking my time to make sure the placement is right. Charcoal is great because it can be erased quite easily and it will meld nicely with pastel. Just make sure the important points are in. That is our outline done. Now we can pull the photo off the tracing paper and add in our details. At this point you lay in the positions of the creases and folds and the shadow areas if you like. There you go. That's how you transfer and enlarge an image ready to paint. In the next lesson, we'll be adding some colour. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you later.